So people, I am back with another Outriders video and today I just want to talk about a recent mod I not long got. Uh, as literally guys, I've been farming for this weapon since the full game released. And I actually, golly, I tweeted out last night and I was so happy. But the mod itself is utterly crazy and I just had to make a video about it and what I've just figured out. Now once I found this, as I noticed after figuring this out myself and having a little look online that I saw a couple of people talking about this too and today we get into it. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So the mod is called Fortress, it drops exclusively on a weapon called a Death Shield which is an amazing looking shotgun. Now I use a shotgun for a little bit and well yeah I have a video coming on that too, but let's just say I have the mod now which I can apply elsewhere. And no, before I get attacked for getting rid of the death shield, I did so due to my current build, not a setup for shotguns at all. Yay, can you believe that? A trick stat that doesn't use shotguns. But yeah, I applied this fortress mod to a one shot VR and noticed something really strange. So the fortress mod reads, receive up to 43% damage bonus based on your armor. Yeah, that's cool and all, great mod as we know. But what I didn't realise was, until I actually got it, and I apologise, I know probably 50% of the people watching this video will know about this, but I know 50% won't, who haven't got the mod, so haven't really tried it and tested it. But yeah, what I didn't realise about it was, that this thing actually scales up everything in terms of that damage bonus. Yes, weapon damage, skills, and anomaly damage. At first I thought I was tripping, but then when I removed the weapon, used the same abilities on the same enemies, and it was doing much less damage. I tried it again, but this time I didn't take the weapon off, I just switched weapons. So I used a weapon with Fortress on and got great damage. I switched to a weapon without Fortress on and I was getting way less damage. Now I uploaded a tricks to build the other day, the one I'm still using, it's based on the middle tree, tanking damage and using a one shot VR sniper with that scrap grenade on it. I tried everything I could to up the damage of that scrap grenade, but nothing I did actually worked. And it's why I opted to use the middle tree trickster and base this build on shield and health. Little did I know that Fortress even increases the damage of that scrap grenade too. I went back to Tiago to buy a juggler just to test this and lo and behold, yes, yes it does. I couldn't believe it people. So yeah, this Fortress mod has a little trick up its sleeve and while what that means is for those that didn't know about this, as obviously many already do, this could change the way many many builds perform and work. Personally I'm now thinking about making an anomaly build, but right now we will see. Now to get the full benefit of that 43% extra damage to all sources it states, it's based on your armour. I do believe your armour only needs to be that of around 50k to see that extra 43% extra damage. I mean I could be wrong here. But it's roughly around this number I do believe. But yes guys I thought I'd make a video showcasing this incredible mod and what it does for those that didn't know about it already. As like I said it's clear that many already know about this but it's also clear that many don't and it's definitely one I feel most people should know about because it's incredible. I don't know if this is supposed to happen, I don't know if this is meant to or it's a bug but all I know is it works incredibly well and I cannot wait to get into new builds with it. But yes on that note the end of the video has arrived, if you enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.